One of the most difficult things in DayZ is finding and fixing up a car, but there are things you can do to speed this process up from hours to minutes. And here, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to do just that. If you like the video, please leave a like or a subscribe. It really helps me out. You have no idea. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I'll teach you where to find all the parts so you can drive your car for five minutes and then crash it into a wall like a moron. I'll get the most obvious one out the way so we can get down to business. If you don't feel like walking around until you randomly encounter a vehicle, there is a way you can find the nearest one you're looking for. You can do this by using the iSurvive app or the iSurvive website, link in the description. I'll give you a quick guide exactly how to do this and then we'll move on. You can filter down what you want very easily by clicking here to remove everything else from the map and then scrolling down until you find the cars you're looking for, Humvee, truck or any specific car. But for the best locations on where to find the engine parts you need quickly, check garden sheds, lockups, warehouses and these garages here which are scattered around the map. Train carts are one of the best places for things such as spark plugs and batteries. If you want to do it quickly, it's a numbers game and these lockups here are usually great because they're grouped together. So they give you the best shot at finding supplies super quickly for cars. I found all of the parts I needed in roughly 15 minutes around the coast. It then took me another 20 minutes or so to actually find a usable car after hitting three spawn points. In total, it took just over half an hour on a medium populated official server to get a working vehicle, searching only the areas I mentioned. But take extra care when searching for spark plugs and glow plugs however, they are tiny and can sometimes glitch a little through the floor, so always be thorough. Furthermore, more, you can strip parts from other fixable vehicles, as when some vehicles spawn in, they spawn in with parts in them. It's always worth lifting the hoods and checking in there too. Keeping in mind, engine parts are universal with regards to cars, and the location of spawn points are on the iSurvive map as I demonstrated earlier, so it's probably worth checking to see if there are any cars nearby so you can try and loot them for parts, or not search for parts you just don't need. A good tip to remember is, if you find a car half completed, the rest of the things needed to get it working properly are usually in whatever town or city you're adjacent to. So if you find one, searching the town thoroughly might be all you need to do. This should give you a car in record time. Like everything else in DayZ, finding car parts is a skill more than it is luck, and it doesn't always need to take you a long time to do it. Though speaking from experience, at first, it probably will. But if you want a car immediately and you're feeling adventurous, you can raid other players' bases to steal theirs. Alternatively, be on the lookout for other cars people have hidden, either around the outskirts of the map or in ditches or bushes. Remember, you don't need a key to drive any vanilla car, you can just hop in and drive as soon as they park it up. In fact, this is the way I get most of my cars now. But if you don't want to do any of this, let's say you want a car as a new spawn and you don't want to be fighting somebody else for theirs. You can join entire servers catered to players who want to drive. These servers spawn in entire completed cars for you to just find and drive immediately in an abundance. You don't need any skills and it's your car. But for other tips and tricks and some really informative videos then click here. Or for something else click here. And as always until next time.